I'm Timmy Rudd with the OC Weekly, and we're here tonight for the Black Star Canyon Ghost Tour. We're really excited to be here, and I'm going to be really pissed if there's not orbs in all of this footage. I like to say Black Star Canyon is a bit of a grab bag of really bizarre and random occurrences that aren't necessarily easily explained. We see everything you can imagine out here. Now, Chris, how long have you been doing this? Oh man, I've been, uh, as far as in the field, it's been a little over five years. Um, the Black Star Canyon tours themselves uh, has been about three years or so. There's a million and two different urban legends about this place. How many of them are true and are there any uh, particular favorites you have? I would say not a whole lot of the urban legends are entirely true, but they're probably based on something. Um, there are a few that I can think of off the top of my head, but I will tell you that a lot of what happens out here in the canyon has nothing to do with the legends that you hear. It is believed that spirits can manifest themselves and communicate through EMF. So you may see investigators on TV uh, utilizing these, and what it'll do is it'll light up. Does anybody want to hold one of these? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Wait, why don't you ever hear about things that happen during the daytime hours? Well, there absolutely are things that do happen in the daytime, not just here, but anywhere. In our opinion, ghosts are around all the time. We snapped some photos over here. People have showed us images that contain uh, what's called orbs. Now this, we'll exp we're explaining away as dust. However, these streaks of light, does anybody want to take a guess what the third uh, paranormal occurrence that happens out here. Spirits, Aliens. Bigfoot, bingo. You look above us, we got wide open skies. We do see some very strange things in the sky when we're out here. And uh, we're not saying it's aliens, but it might be. We've had anything from rocks being thrown over here. Uh, usually is thrown up to five feet in front of us or behind us. Diane will also agree with this. This is also, I think this is mainly her theory, is that whatever is out here tends to want to distract you. We have a freak occurrence right now. There's That's another guy, cool. he's come over, he's telling us legends. Oh, no. I don't think any of them are true. He's not part of the group and he won't leave. There, there's no switch for this stuff. It either happens or it doesn't. If something's here and it wants to interact or communicate, it will. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So there's, there's no predicting that and we don't have control, but we hope that at the very least everybody has a good time and, and we think everybody did, so we're excited for that. Is there anywhere that actually like you know, personally you know, scares you? or? Absolutely. Uh, there are some spots uh, through our walk and we don't go there on a standard tour, but when we do extended walks or private tours, we there's a certain location a little bit further on down the road uh, where we regularly have very unsettling feelings over there. Lots of interaction, whether it's physical, audible, uh, visual, it's everything. Hush, 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 here comes the bogeyman. Don't let him come too close to you, he'll catch you if he can. 